Hello and welcome to part five of the tic-tac-toe TypeScript um, series. Um, I think I want to clean up the code even more today. Um, so let's do that. I don't really know where to start, but let's just go through the things I have and see if there's stuff I can remove and things like that, you know, so, um, what do I, I know I saw something before that I wanted to remove. I think I can remove, uh, this game state thing here. Um, and we could just do, Uh, we could just return um, uh, We could just do new game state and hopefully I can even remove this function um, So it's being used in app I think so Set game state in here so we can actually remove that and we could just put in this and then we don't need to have this function anymore and we can probably remove this whole thing hopefully yep, no one is complaining great so we got rid of that um, I wonder if I can clean up this thing a bit as well. So the action handler. I think we should have a type for that. So types export export type uh, t action handler is equal to actions action something like that and now in our actions we could do the action handler the uh, action handler like so okay it's all good. Um, okay. And now this T action thing, I actually want to create an enum for this. So um, let's make uh, action types.ts and we'll do export enum e action types and then we could put um, this thing in there for example and we could just do that why not could also have this actually we don't need to define any value here it's not necessary we could just do it like that okay and then in our actions in our action type here we could use this instead, so we could do something like import e action types from action types. Maybe we should even call it e action type, like that. I think it's better. And then we can, instead of having a string, we're going to have the e action type. And now we're going to get a lot of warnings. Um, in our 
grid, for example, I think we're going to get some problems. Yeah. So we should do um, import the action type from action types. And then at line 84, we're going to use the action type dot winning cells. And here we're going to have the action type dot the action type dot game state reset. And this function could be simplified a bit to just do to just do that without the curly braces. Um, something like that. I'm thinking it's going to, yeah, it's going to complain here too. So we need to do uh, import the action type from action types. Type dot uh, game state winning cells and the action type dot uh, reset. Cool. So I kind of want to separate the uh, engine from the actual game logic, sort of. Uh, so I'm thinking I should create like a directory here called uh, engine, where we will put we will put the um, engine related things. So I'm thinking the um, um, the app is definitely going into the engine. The actions, it's not really, um, we have this handle actions here. <laughs> so, we could probably do some kind of dependency injection there. So you would have a, or not a dependency injection, but we could inject a function here that would um, do that kind of thing. So we could, for example, do um, export type, um, Action handler is equal to a function that takes in a a um, state of type any and a action type any and it's going to return that state. Actually, we can do we could probably do this and this could be of type T and it will return the T. Maybe we could have the type of the action too. So we would have a TA. Now in our app we could do import uh, t action handler from types 
and we would do action handler uh, t action hand handler of uh, we have to have this or do we want to have it there I don't know make app game state uh, app state. Maybe the action handler could be inside of the app instead. So we would do um, we would do uh, action handler t action handler, and we would have the. Um, Come on, uh, T and a T A, and we would do T and a T A, something like that, and then we could put that here. So we would have action handler, this action handler, and now we have to. It doesn't know about the app state, app type, so we'll put the. We can actually extract all of these and we'll put them in types instead, like so. And in our app, we would do. Um, bah, 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 let's see here, app types. We would do this instead. Game state, game state. Will be of type Can I do that? No. I do that. And that seems to be okay. And then we want to have the um, uh, action handler of type action handler. Handler is not generic. Mm -hmm. Of type T and of type Are you kidding me? Well, that seems to be fine, and we don't need to specify this then. Um, this game state thing, we don't care about that at this point. Mm. So we can move the canvas into the engine. Hello, why are you not able to import it? I cannot find module canvas, it's right there. Grid state, of course, the grid state, um, grid app state, grid. So I don't think the grid should actually be inside of the app state, it's a part of the 
I would say it's a part of the game state actually. Um, import grid state from grid no uh, game state grid state grid state okay so now the game state has the grid instead why are you mad oh the grid needs to have or we need to have the make grid state here now, um, which is problematic. I guess we could do something like this. Uh, no. state and we could do this and export const make game state is equal to game state um, and we could do this game state and like that and we could do um, grid no wait we would do it like this const state is equal to make, it, uh, make game state and then we would do return um, return state and grid mk grid state state as well well if you have the game state because the game state has the canvas no it doesn't have the canvas okay I see um, but ba -ba -bum, how would I get the I guess you can have the canvas here. Uh, like so. 
can import canvas from engine canvas. Okay. I would have expected you to be mad at me, but you weren't. So the dispatch thing could also be moved into whoop, into the engine. The actions. Mm, what do you want? Canvas. You want the canvas. And now in our action handler, we also need to do a, um, a We need a sport type What if we just give you the canvas instead so canvas canvas It'll be a lot easier so Canvas canvas and Port uh, canvas from engine slash canvas, and we'll do this. Okay, so this actions thing is actually it's like game logic, I would say, or at least this one. But this thing here is definitely not um, this is engine logic so this stuff would be moved to here E action type right so you don't know what an action type is can I say that this needs to be an enum no oh my god let's just do any for now okay so the action handler needs to import T action handler from types. Okay. And the action types are a part of the game, so they can be there. The app instance is definitely a part of the game. App types, app state. Mm -hmm. Now we can remove the app types thing completely. Mm. And this needs to import um, import T action and T action handler from 
engine slash games engine slash types no uh, okay they were duplicated uh, action types that's fine absence that's fine game state is it's also kind of fine um, how are you doing main types I'm not sure if we're using that let's see if we have any errors so app instance cannot find module app no because that is inside of here oh this one is really angry so we want to import T action handler from types that's okay action handler is not generic what if I just do that the app state requires this Thank you. Action handler is not assignable. Um, it's not right now. Wait, we have two action. Oh, this should actually be. Oh, I'm confused now. <laughs> um, this was meant to be action handler. doesn't really help me. You're not having the grid anymore because that's inside of the game state. probably have a um, tick tick function is equal to um, t 
empty uh, state um, state app state t Mm, and we don't care what you return. Tick. Tick function. And we're going to have a draw function as well. Probably put these inside of the types instead. So uh, I guess we can put you there. And then inside of our app state, we have to use these as well. So uh, which is kind of. it's possible to actually put these up here. I don't think it's going to be, or is it? Wow, so that actually worked. Um, okay. So Aptic, we're actually just going to do a do that we're going to do app update app app where are we getting that from app comes from there app app state app app state app app state start app can we do that Yes, but then we're having this problem here. Um, just not going to care about that right now. App dot tick app, and we're also going to do app dot draw app. And we have these things which we are not even using. Make game state. Okay, so we need a we also need a function to that game state uh, game state maker I don't care what you do just give me something So game state maker game state maker and we're going into this thing game state maker there we go and then what we could do is um Yeah. 
we don't need that anymore. Cannot find module actions. Get action handler, handle actions. Handle app actions. Uh, this will be replaced with app dot action handler. Expected three arguments. What? Okay. Canvas. You need the canvas, of course. App dot canvas. Uh, grid. That and we don't need this action handler, not actions. Oh crap! And this is basically the function, but um. Actually, you want to have that get action handler thing. Um, but it's going to come from uh, action handler. There we go. So, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? You are not happy? Dispatch? App state from. Oh, you're not really using app state for that. Oh, you're using. I think that's good. Are you happy? Actions, handle app actions, app instance. Um, so you are importing from slash app. How are you doing that? You don't exist anymore? So here, cannot find module app, app instance. No, because you are coming from engine slash app and expected five arguments, action handler, and yeah, you're expecting a bunch of stuff. So from our, okay, now you're starting to get, cannot find, are you kidding? Come on, my uh, window just froze. Hello. Come on, Vin. You can do it. You couldn't do it. I'm just going to increase this and then I'll start up them again um, app so who was mad app instance you want to import from engine canvas okay and you are expecting some stuff you're expecting import uh, action Handle actions, handle app actions, handle app actions from engine, slot. no, uh, from actions. So you want to have the handle app actions. You also want the canvas, which you have, and you want the tick, whoops, uh, which we don't have yet, so we're going to do um, right now I'm just going to do it like that. What more do you want? You want the game state maker. Okay. And we can get that from import game state from game state. So we'll do make game state 
and this one is not happy. Make app, handle app actions. Mm. Canvas argument of type canvas. Make app from engine app. Handle app actions. What's your problem? Types of primary game state and state are incompatible. Um, okay, so. What? Handle app actions. Something problematic with this one, maybe. Um, uh, we need to do like uh, where do we have this one? It's from here. Uh, so import game state from types. And we also need the uh, uh, we need the action types, right? So we need to do uh, we need to do um, import the action type from action types. And we should be able to put you here, uh, E action type. Now expect that one type of argument we got two. Right, so you are actually only expecting this one. But you are a bit weird. Canvas game state action. It's actually um, no wrong. Um, state action canvas state action yes but we need to do game state and no is equal to game state and the action type no I can't do that Canvas state action. Um, okay.
<laughs> I'm just going to be lazy right now and do this. So it's happy. Now in our app instance, canvas. Action alert canvas, tick draw state maker. So this one actually takes in an argument. That's the problem. Okay, so um, we could just do, no, sorry. Um, There we go. Um, app instance seems to be happy. We have some minor problems though. So in the grid.ts, this is probably going to be very angry. From we need to import from engine slash canvas and engine slash dispatch. Seems to be all happy now, but nothing's happening because. Um, we haven't provided the take and the draw functions, so in our app instance, we should do <laughs> So this one basically takes in a tick function and a draw function and they are described as app state, okay. Um, so we should possibly be able to take in the app state, what? App state, app state of type T. Okay, maybe. Mm, take in the app state. App state. Well, so basically, we should be able to do something like this, maybe uh, app app dot. Uh, Game state dot grid grid draw import grid draw from grid grid state does not exist on type T.
So what are you complaining about? I don't get it. So the tick takes in the app state of st. Why can I not do that? <laughs> okay, so that's not possible to do it like that. Um, What if we just for now do this? Uh, can't read property game state of undefined. Cool. So I assume app is undefined. No, it's actually not undefined. So I assume it's actually I assume it's in the grid. Grid state. Grid state. Grid draw. Grid state. So I assume that, um, wait, it shouldn't be grid state. Yeah, now it's working, cool. And we should be able to do this thing here too, but for the, for the um, uh, tick. Grid update, okay. Grid update. Grid update. Okay, so are things still working? No. App is not defined. Oh. Cannot read property map of undefined. Okay, so the grid is doing some map thing. Game state dot board. Game state dot board. And that board uh, is a board state, so we don't have that. Um, board. We are doing the board thing. But console dot log game state Oh we have the board here so it's not there. Players, possibly players. No. The problem is I don't have 
I'm not going to be able to see where the issue is, actually. Because uh, I haven't set up uh, source mapping properly. But... Um, I would love to see where this is, so... Well, it's the only place where... However, grid state is no. So game state board grid state is no. Okay, so now there's no errors. So console.log grid state. It's not really a problem, is it? Um, board. Um. So there's definitely a problem with the return winner uh, function thing. So we'll get winner. Okay. Player stop map. Return the horizontal one. If we return in the horizontal one. We're not getting any errors, uh, although I actually did return here, so uh, let's do that. And then we're going to go to the horizontal one and return. And we're getting the errors. Let's return in the horizontal vertical one as well. If we remove this one,
So players are undefined for some reason. Why are they undefined? We're importing them from game state. And they are equal to this. What? How can they be undefined? How are they undefined? Do that instead, and in our grid, let's just do um, Okay, no more errors. Game state dot next player is not a function. Yeah, this is this should be an action actually. So we should have a uh, game state uh, next winner. Next winner. Uh, player index game state dot player index plus one. Turn game state dot available players game state dot player index plus one. Uh, Game state dot player index is less than game state dot player index uh, available players dot length minus one. Otherwise, um, oh crap. let's just do it like this. Um, Turn, turn, player index. How about that? And we can remove this. Now we can go into the grid and remove this. Our next player, and we're going to do dispatch. Type the action type dot type the action type dot uh, game state uh, next winner. I don't know if that was the word I wanted to use. Next player, next player, and action types now. Action, where are you? Uh, there we are. Uh, next 
player. Something like that, maybe. Oh, it's not checking for winners, is it? Um, grid. Um, grid update. Winner. Winner, 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 winner. I'm returning here. That's why. And I'm returning here as well, so maybe we're still going to have errors. No. Okay, so it's not it's not flipping to the next player on click, so it doesn't do the next player's thing. So why is it not doing that? Uh, player index. Game state not player index plus one. Otherwise, zero turn. Oh, we're gonna you need to do. We have to do player index. Now it still doesn't go to the next player. French. Maybe we're not using the correct thing. Um. Oh, I know why it doesn't happen. So in our in our uh, app thing, we remove this one. So. Let's just do after action our oh, post action is equal to um post action is going to take in an app state of type any mm. And it's going to do any. And we're going to do post action app. How about that? And now we can do from that so we have to do switching turn correctly. Winner is zero. So now the coloring of the uh, cells is gone again, but uh, maybe that's an easy thing to fix. 
game state winning sales uh, okay so dispatch result.sales sales so when we are we getting the data here uh, console.log data uh, action dot data It's not updating for some reason. Grid draw, grid state. It's not updating for some reason. Add that game state, grid state, grid state. So the problem is that the grid state um, is reading from. The game state, not winning cells, but mm -mm -mm. oh, we're doing app dot grid. Should be grid state. Come on. I think that's the problem. No, it still doesn't work. Hmm. Uh, you know what that's gonna be enough for this video I'm really tired now and I'll fix this in the next one but yeah what did we achieve today um, well I separated the engine I guess <laughs> so now the uh, game logic is separate from the actual engine if you even want to call it an engine uh, so yeah uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.